Hi guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'll be unboxing, reviewing and demonstrating the Derwent Artist Black and White pencil set. I purchased this set earlier in the year from Amazon for uh, £9.41 and it's also available on the US Amazon site for uh, $14.99. I will leave the links to the Amazon page in the description box down below. As per usual, I am not in any way sponsored or affiliated with Derwent or Amazon, and this is my own honest review and opinion of these pencils. So I'll start off with the unboxing of this set. The tin comes in a very classy satin finished cardboard box with some beautiful pieces of artwork on it. And the pencils themselves come inside this very handy little tin, which I think is perfect for both storage and travel. So here are the pencils inside. It also comes with a pencil sharpener, but the pencil sharpener doesn't actually fit the pencils, as we'll find out later. Anyway, let's have a quick read of the box. So it says that it comes with three blacks and three whites, that they're professional quality and that it's made in Britain. So let's have a quick look at the product description on the back. It says Derwent Artist Black and White Colour Pencil Collection, a unique set of six warm and cool tones in our finest quality artist pencils, with a wide core of highly pigmented pure colour for intense saturation, making them ideal for bold contrasting work, portraiture or detailed illustrations. So anyway, on the back here it also says that they're light fast and they conform to the ASTMD standards, so that's excellent and exactly what you expect from an artist's quality supply. And I noticed that on Derwent's website it actually makes the distinction that the warm tones are the black colours and the cool tones are the whites. And I find this a little bit strange considering one of the so-called cool whites is a pale pink and I would assume that um, anything pink or red is more on the warm side of the spectrum. And similarly, one of the warm blacks is actually a very dark blue, and I would actually call a dark blue um, one of the cold colours. I'm not sure if I'm missing something here, or if I'm just un uneducated, but um, it could also be um, a mistake on Derwent's side. I guess that the point that I'm trying to make is that there are both cool and warm whites and blacks in this set and that uh, I think that the website could be construed as a bit misleading. So these pencils are special in that they are a range of whites and blacks that have a tint of another colour in them. Out of the three whites, one is tinted with pink, the other is tinted with blue, and out of the blacks, one is tinted with the blue, and the other is an olivey green. And the two remaining pencils are just straight up regular white and black. So yeah, uh, here I discovered that the sharpener doesn't fit with the pencils, and this is probably because these pencils have an 8mm barrel, and Derwent has many 7mm barrels that they sell, and that this tin is a one-size-fits-all solution for many of their pencils that they sell in six set packs. I don't mind too much that the sharpener doesn't fit, as I'd probably just use my own sharpener anyway, but um, I just think it seems a little bit silly to supply a sharpener that isn't actually compatible with the pencils. And I suppose there's a risk of some people trying to force the pencil into the sharpener and as a result breaking their pencils. So now I'm swatching out these colour pencils and I've chosen a mid grey um, toned piece of paper that was just one of those uh, pieces of paper that you can get open stock from most art shops. I chose a toned grey piece of paper so that you could more easily see the white colour pencils. And I'm swatching these out um, in a grid sort of pattern so that um, the whites overlap with the blacks so that you can more easily see the, um, the tint of each of the pencils. They are fairly pigmented and lay down quite smoothly. These pencils are identical in formulation to the artist's range of colour pencils that Derwent offer. They have a selection of 120 colours I believe, um, but the colours here in this set are limited to this set. Uh, they are also identical to the studio pencils, and the only difference is that the artist pencils have a round barrel or casing, rather than a hexagonal one. And the drawback is that um, round barreled pencils can more easily work or roll off your work surface. But personally I found that um, round barreled pencils are a lot more comfortable to hold. I think the difference is just going to be down to personal preference. So I'm also using a blending pencil to help um, blend together the dark and light colours. 
And here you can see that the tints of the three darker colours become a lot more apparent when mixed with a paler colour. The three whites don't seem to have much of an effect um, between them on the, um, on the darker colours. Overall they are a lot less pigmented than the darks. However, I still think that the difference between the three whites is fairly visible um, in this footage, which is good, but um, I don't really feel like there's much of a difference in, in them in real life. You can certainly see the difference when they're side by side, but otherwise I think you would just say that they're all um, just white. So now I've drawn out lines with a black marker on the paper so I can test the opacity and pigmentation of the pencils. I'm also matching this set of colour pencils up against some uh, colour pencils that I already own that are possibly similar in colour because I wanted to see if the colours offered in this set are truly unique. So I searched through my pencil collection to see which colours I thought were closest, and um, my pencil collection consists of a Derwent Drawing 12 set, the uh, Prismacolor 72 set, um, Polychroma 60 set, a Caran d'Ache Luminance White, just a single pencil, and the Derwent Studio 72 set. And I have annotated which uh, pencils I have compared them to. I found that the regular white and black were very similar in application to uh, Polychromos white and black, but the other tints of uh, white and black were really difficult to find similar colours amongst the other sets. But on the downside, I thought they underperformed um, in terms of pigmentation and saturation, and that a lot of the other brands uh, did much better at covering that black line. These pencils hold a really nice sharp point for a long time, um, owing to their hardness. Once again, I think they're quite comparable to Polychromos in this aspect, although they might be a touch harder. Interestingly enough, the Derwent Artists and uh, Studio range of colour pencils are wax-based, even though they are such a hard pencil. I seem to associate wax-based pencils with um, Caran d'Ache Luminance or the uh, Prismacolor Premier pencils, which are both very soft and buttery pencils. But these pencils are certainly different in that regard. So now onto the demonstration part of this video. As you can see, I've sketched out a wolf onto some dark grey toned paper. The brand of paper is Canson and the line is uh, Metaunts. It's a pastel paper, but I'm using the reverse side of the paper, which is a lot smoother, and I find that it works very well with coloured pencil. You can find the reference photo that I use in the description box down below. So for this drawing, I used the plain white and black pencils that came in the set, um, the ones called Pure and Raven. So I'm not used to working in monochrome, so this uh, drawing is quite a bit of a challenge, although in the end I really like how it turns out. So I apply my usual technique to colour pencil work with um, this wolf drawing. I start with the highlights and shadows, and then I build up the areas around them with um, the midtones. And I keep building up each area until I reach the level of contrast that I want. Towards the end I end up using a paper blending stump, or I think they're called tortillions, I'm not sure, um, to help uh, blend together the white and the black pencils. I'm sure that on very smooth or hot press paper they'd work um, fine without a tortillion, but um, because the Canson Mitance paper has a fine grain to it, I wanted to make sure that everything was nicely blended out and smooth. I had a lot of fun with this piece. Um, I thought I was finished about halfway in, but then I realised that I could add so many more layers and I could blend um, a lot out to create more of a contrast and more of a soft effect. The pencils were great for uh, laying down smooth even layers, but also fantastic for sharpening to a point and creating fine detail. I didn't blend the white and black together too much throughout the piece. I wanted um, the white and black to stand out for themselves and I wanted the mid-tone to be the dark grey of the paper. 
I did make the exception of blending was all white and black together for the eye and I think that really gives a um, shiny pop to the piece. So here's the final drawing and I'm pleased with how it's turned out. So let's have a quick look at the back of the box again and see if the pencils do indeed do what they say on the tin. And it says that they are a unique set of six warm and cool tones and I agree that for the most part these pencils are pretty unique in their colour choices. Um, that they have a wide core, I definitely agree with that. Um, that it's a wide core of highly pigmented pure colour. Um, I don't think the whites are particularly highly pigmented. I think that the whites in particular are easily outmatched by um, Caran d'Ache Luminance White or the uh, Derwent Drawing Chinese White. Um, for intense saturation, making them ideal for bold contrasting work, portraiture or detailed illustrations. And I agree with that, um, it's really going to be down to what application you use for them for, so yes I suppose. So I guess with that it's fairly obvious that I'm not a huge fan of the whites in this set, um, but I do really like the blacks, I think they're great. Maybe the whites would be um, useful when blending with other colours, but I, to be honest I haven't really tried um, doing that. Um, I think that perhaps the pale pink would be great for portrait work. I've used the regular black a lot and sharpened it often to a very fine point, um, probably because I'm less precious about this pencil than I am about my um, polychromos. So um, I use this sharpened to a very fine point for uh, detailed work like um, when adding really fine hair, like fur. Um, for, for example in this picture I used it quite a lot, especially in the face. I found um, the midnight colour to be really handy when drawing black animals um, because of often they have lots of nice blue tones in their fur. And although I've used this black pencil a lot, personally I would prefer the set if it did away with um, the standard white and black because you can find those in basically any pencil set. I would much prefer it if the white was uh, say a pale yellow and the black might be, um, I don't know, a very dark brown or perhaps a very dark red. I'll probably buy this set again simply for the dark colours, um, but as I said I much prefer it if something was changed about this set. But that being said, um, 9 or £10 pounds for 6 high quality pencils in a very nice tin, I think that's a pretty good deal. So would I recommend this set for other artists? Um, I think that if you are like me and you like to have a little bit of variation in your uh, very dark colours, then certainly. Um, but um, if you're not really that bothered and you're just happy to stick with black, then probably not. Um, I think that if you're really into monochrome work, this set would be fantastic. That being said, if you do use this set for monochrome work, you definitely want to be aware of which colours you use together. So um, this was one of the first pieces that I did with this set. It was just a quick one, but you can see that um, I used the uh, the Arctic, the white with a blue tint, and I also used Midnight, the black with a blue tint, and mixing together made this, um, well, this colour I think, this colour. Um, which is quite obvious, and it doesn't really look like a black and white picture anymore. And similarly, um, you'd have the same problem with the green. So this set is certainly niche and I'm not sure if many artists will find a real use for this set, but I think um, that in what it does, it does a fairly good job of it. So thank you very much for watching, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have bought this set or are considering buying this set, I would love to hear from you down below in the comments section. If you have any questions, ask away. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more reviews, challenges, tutorials and speed paints.